Our next guest is one of Australia's most celebrated veterans of showbiz, responsible for some of the biggest hits of the past five decades. And my job is never ending for me. From 60s pop band The Twilights. What's wrong with the way I live? The way I use my time. To joining Brian Cadd's group Axiom. A little ray of sunshine. And fronting chart topping Aussie group Little River Band. The legendary Glenn Shorrock has truly done it all. And now Glenn is putting the past 50 years of his career into a tell all autobiography called Now Where Was I? And he joins <laughs> us in the studio. Hello, legend. How are you? Oh, nice much better again. for seeing Always you. Always lovely to see you. If just to, to hear that song, reminiscing, just yeah. one of my favourite songs of all time. It's a time. great song. Yeah. Tell yeah. us uh, what I like about this. We were just talking about then when people rudely interrupted us with this television show. Is that what I like about this book? First of all, is that when you go to a biography and mm. you, get, you have to go to the middle and you say, "What photos they talk about?" and blah blah blah. Yes. And there's not enough of them. And you've got lots of photos in here <laughs> all throughout that time. I like don't, a don't I like likes, a picture book. He likes <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Yeah. Get old, Books Glenn. Pictures. Look at that one. Look at you, Beatley. There. Oh, there you go. Meeting but, royal family. But Glenn, you have worked with some of the biggest names in the business. Um, and the smallest music. cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been on what? so many tours. And smallest cars. <laughs> but how do you possibly begin putting five decades of stories into one book? Did you take notes throughout your life? No, that was the biggest regret of my life. Right. Really, not keeping a journal, yeah. it, it would have been a very large book. Yes. People yeah. say well, that though, that you need to keep a journal. The joke was, why, why haven't you written a book, Glenn? Mm. Well, I can't remember anything, so I'll write a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> and the title, now where was I? Well, that's all part, part of, of the, it. the memory right, loss. Right, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so where well, all, you know, let's go back to where it all began for you, because in the book you mentioned how uh, it, you first came together with Mike Sykes and Paddy McCartney. In uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, in Elizabeth. Uh, but you weren't always called the Twilights back then. Uh, we started as a, ba a group called the Checkmates. Checkmates? Yeah. Okay. Uh, with, a, with a bass singer in those days. Like a, like a Deltone sort of vibe. Exactly. Same sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. All that stuff. And then it became, and it became the Twilight. Yeah. Obviously. It started it off. How was Adelaide back then for you? Uh, well, I was 17. I had, I had hair. I had a little <laughs> red sports car. I had everything. <laughs> you were still huge in Adelaide. Eh? Huh? Yeah, massive. Oh, there I am. Yeah. There's so you two are actually photos. from the same place? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Adelaide boys. And, yeah. I, and for me, as a parent now of a daughter, A Little Ray of Sunshine, the Axiom yeah. song, and you must get this a lot, but I have, mm. it's just one of the greatest. Let's have a reminder. Well, show her the dress that she wear with the gold flowing hair The nature provided A Little Ray of Sunshine <laughs> Who are you singing with there? Good old Harry Shore. There he is. <laughs> um, it, as being a parent, though, to a daughter now, that, that does take on a different meaning for me it with does, Daddy. It does, doesn't it? And you must get that a lot. A lot Always. of parents. When you wrote that song... You, when you, you won't believe this. That's the way it starts. Really? Yeah. You oh, won't believe this. And when our, our daughter was born, yeah. and I'll finish the sentence, yeah. basically. Of course. <laughs> so you sing the song. Oh, do you sing the song for them? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. lovely song. Well, Little River Band was one of the biggest successes. In fact, it was the first Australian group to break into the US market. Uh, what was it, do you think, Glenn, that made the band so popular over there? We had good songs. Mm. Uh, the three of us were writing good songs in those days, and um, we had about 60 or 70 to choose from. Yeah, right. We got off to a flying start with It's a Long Way There, Curiosity Killed the mm, yeah. uh, Help Is On Its Way and ended up selling a lot of records and uh, reaching the top 28 times. Gee whiz, that's massive. Yeah, it was Such massive. Especially yeah. in those days when we sold records and we didn't stream things. That's right. It yeah. actually made it a real impact. People went Indeed. out and bought it. Yeah. And, and we talked about reminiscing because it was one of the band's biggest hits. It reached five million airplays on US radio. Yeah. Um, but in the book you reveal that none of you thought it really was going to be a hit. Is well, that right? I didn't. No, I, I didn't think so. I, I thought it was a great why? song. Why? Why did you think Well, it was that? so left of field. You know, uh, well, that's why I love it. I know, and that's why it was a big hit, because it was left of field. Yeah, right. But, it you wasn't know, just I'm a singer, up. what do I know? <laughs>
<laughs> um, what's next now? The book's over. You're going to do a little. I'm a writer now. You're a writer now. What am I now? Uh, You're an author. 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 No. author. So, are you going to do a little tour? Maybe a spoken word tour about the book that's very popular about all the kids. Yeah, like I, that. I've heard some guy did that. But yeah, some guy did I'm that. Not, I'm not quite sure whether I will. Well, you sing along with your own thing. You tell the stories. Well, it's I've been telling good. lies all my life. <laughs> that's the other book. <laughs> that's part two. I've been telling lies all my, all my life. life. There you go. <laughs> Um, that's a good idea, though, Tate. That's, that's a good one, eh? Yeah. No, I've already got the title of the second book. What's, what, what's that? Not telling you. That's not a terrible title. You should try I something know. else. No, I thought it was a good title. <laughs> <laughs> now, I where like was I'm I? Like a British, <laughs> uh, some kind of weird British. Quiz it's show. the Elizabeth it thing. It's, a, it's the English Elizabeth yep. thing that they all have the same humour. Go yep. get this book. It's fabulous. Now, where was I? Only the one and only Glenn Schroek. Thank you so much, buddy. Again, Lots of thank love, you. Joe. So Lots lovely of love, darling. Thanks, to darling. see you always. Oh, take it easy.